it seems to me slightly absurd to, uh, to to read a few minutes ago that the Prime Minister has called on Iran to not respond to the wave of Israeli strikes urging restraint. He says, I am clear that Israel has the right to defend itself against Iranian aggression. I am equally clear that we need to avoid further regional escalation and urge all sides to show restraint. Iran should not respond. Uh, he was speaking at a press conference in Samoa. Uh, and, of course, in one sense, he's absolutely right. Iran should not respond. But should Israel have launched its attack, what, what did Israel achieve by that attack, except for some sort of demonstration of machismo? It's achieved nothing except to add to the tension in the region. And, uh, and to demonstrate that Israel can respond and that its planes can get, can get in and out of Iran without detection and cause damage. Well, I think we already knew that. So there is a, there is a point at which one, one has to ask what was the purpose of Israel's prodding uh, one can't say prodding the tiger, but one can say prodding the peacock in this particular case. And what would be what would be wonderful would be to see the Iranian regime topple. But I don't think it's going to topple while it's being provoked and um, called and called into action by Israel. A the. Um, Certainly, if Israel were to have taken out some of the drone factories that are supplying Russia, that would be good. But I think Russia has already found alternative sources. The drones which Russia is using are very, very interesting. They're quite lightweight. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and, and there are sort of multiplicity of different types of drones but many of the drones which are causing the greatest amount of damage are the drones flown uh, across the river to to attack civilians and they have a sort of viewer and when the and when the drone is above a civilian or a civilian car the drone dispatches its payload a, um, a simple bomb and the civilian is hurt or killed. That, that is what Ukraine is up against with weapons produced and supplied by Iran. And to distract Iran, I suppose, is, is, is a good thing, but um, to provoke Iran is not great, is not great. And this is all, all a matter of too little, too late. And and, and, and there are too many, there are too many things going on. We, we, we need Netanyahu to take control of what's, of himself before he takes control of other countries and Netanyahu is out of control.